Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a blister effect. So if that is something you would like to see, then keep watching and I'm going to give you guys all a chance right now to get whatever your opinions are on my eyebrows out, so. Okay, now that we're done, let's actually start doing makeup. Okay, so to start this tutorial off, you're going to want um to figure out where you're gonna put this so to begin you're gonna need some uh vaseline and i'm just gonna use a q-tip but basically i'm just gonna scoop a little bit out like about that much and we're just gonna place that down and sort of spread it out to like a blister sort of form or however you would like it and then after you have your gross weird pussy blister sort of spread out you are going to take a kleenex you're gonna rip it into like a tiny little part Like that, and then just sort of split it in half if it's two ply, because you're only going to want one. And just put that down onto the Vaseline. This is going to help us in a second here. So now what we're going to do is we are going to take some liquid latex plus a little sponge. And I'm going to put some liquid latex down, just like right there. You're not going to need a lot, so definitely don't take out a huge amount. But my camera's almost dead, so if it shuts off, I'm sorry. I will continue it in a second. We're just going to coat this with some liquid latex to make sure that it sticks down. And then you are going to let that dry. So I'm just going to coat this in latex and then let it dry. Okay, so now to start the painting really fast, I'm going to just use one of the brushes I normally use, dip it in some alcohol, and rubbing alcohol, and we are going to start with some red. So what we're going to use with the red is we are going to put this largely around sort of the center of the blister, if that makes any sense. So yes, I know it's not completely dry. Um... Oh, sorry, I hit the camera. But I do not have a lot of time, so I dried it to a point where nothing was lifting, and now I'm just painting it on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dip my finger in a little bit of alcohol, and I'm just going to try and spread this out a little bit. So that it moves around and we're just going to sort of spread everything and then in a minute after you get a pretty good ring of red around there, you're going to want to take your paint so you for some reason hid literally in the corner and take some purple. And we're going to take that purple and we're going to apply that to the red, not directly around the ring in the middle because um, that would be inconvenient to why we put down red in the first place. And now you're just going to spread all of that out. So I like to use my finger to spread things, but this is going to be like a massive blister. As you can see, this is like huge and infected and disgusting. So we're going to make it like that. If you want to do a normal one, you might just want to make this like a little bit smaller because um, this one is meant to be um, extremely gross. 
So now that you have those edges spread out like that, I am going to take some yellow paint and I'm just going to sort of brush it over top and my yellow for some reason got a little bit of red in it, but that's fine. I'll just clean that off. So just sort of clean off your paints if you have any red on them, which is inconvenient to the entire thing you're doing. So now I'm just going to take some yellow and brush that over top of the center of this blister like that. And then we are going to go in again, take some green and just sort of get some green in there to really give it that sort of infected gross vibe to it so yeah just kind of take all your colors that you would typically use for like a bruise or something mix them all in circle them around one really gross basically huge looking pimple and then take your finger and splot them around because that is what is going to make this look super super gross and I just hit my camera but I didn't hit the screen which is good. So now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna clean off my brush a little bit here and I'm gonna take some more alcohol and I'm gonna get some green and basically just trace my veins out a little bit to make my veins look kind of infected and gross. You can use this in like a really cool sort of zombie look as well. That would be super cool. Um, also, I guess while we're here, I'm just going to tell you guys that I was planning on doing um, a little questions poll. So if you have any questions for me, I'm going to be opening a poll really soon on my channel where I would like you to leave literally any questions you have and I will be sure to answer them. So now as well as the green veins we're gonna put a little bit of purple ones in there just to make them look more gross. And I know these look super bold right now, but trust me, I'm gonna tone them down a little bit. So now that we have all our veins like that, I'm basically just gonna dip my finger in some alcohol and rub it through to sort of get these veins blended in without moving any of the red like I did up in that corner, but we're gonna act like that's not there. So just taking some alcohol, I'm gonna sort of water down these veins that I created a little bit and I am gonna rub them off in some places, just make them less like bold sort of and I'm gonna do that all over. Uh, okay, and then you will basically be done really. Um, it's supposed to look super like gross and infected so I wouldn't go for any veins that would be too realistic right now because we're trying to do some bulging, infected, disgusting veins. So that's more what we're going for, more than um, actual realness of the whole thing. Because uh, this is going to be some like zombie apocalypse, we got bit. Um, uh, or we got an infected ass blister um, and now the infection is like spreading. So you can see what I did up here with this one is I really blended that into my actual vein that I have right there. So you're going to want to do that a lot um, and yeah. So now this part is totally optional, but you can add a little bit of blood as if it started like bleeding a bit, but I would not go for any like real blood. Instead, I would take some of the clumpy sort of fake blood that I, or, or clumpy, 
Oh, I don't know why I said real blood. Clumpy um, scab blood over the regular fake blood, mainly because if you use your real, or not real blood, I keep fucking saying, oh my god, I can't. It's been a long day. I'm tired. Um, if you use that, it's going to sort of water down more, and that's more what you want to use when you already have some scab blood there or you want like a lot of blood but we only want a little bit so I'm just gonna sort of splat it around um, in little like chunks and also it stays more sort of in one place when you do it like that so that is another reason for the whys and yeah so that's it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed this, then check out some of my other videos. Um, and if you would like to see, I just adjusted my angle. And if you have anything you would like to see, then leave a suggestion down below. But yeah, so this is my gross, infected, disgusting um, blister. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want me to do, like, a more realistic one, then let me know. Because this one was, like, super gory and would probably never happen. But anyways, yeah. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you could subscribe, that would be amazing. And leave any comments for things you would like to see. Bye. This looks absolutely disgusting. Like, ew. This is honestly probably the best part of everything. So I just took all the pictures for it. And now I'm telling you this is the probably like the second best part of doing SFX makeup besides like creating it. But when you get to just like rip it off. Like do you see that? This is why you put on loads of latex and blend it out. Because you couldn't even see that it was there and now you just wipe it off. Done.